Hi, this video is for parents and carers of children who are being given Power Maths work to access online. I'll quickly show you how you can find the textbook and practice book pages and some videos for year one and two. The school should send you a link to click on for the right year group. For example, if your child is in year two and you click on the link, this is where you will land, this page I'm looking at. You can see I've got Power Maths year two. I've clicked on that now and I've got a student, book, student books tab where I've got the textbook for year two and student resources as well where I've got the practice book pages. So let's go into the textbook, textbook B. Now children might be asked to look at pages, at new lessons from within the textbook, or they might be asked to look back through what they've done earlier in the term. Now this first page is where you will land when you open the textbook. On the next page, we've got the contents. I'm going to go to unit 10, fractions, which is on page 154. That's because that's the unit that, that matches the practice book pages that we provided. And it's the last unit in the spring term. So when I go to unit 10, I land on a starter activity for this unit, which introduces key words that children will need to use in this unit of work. And now I've moved on to the textbook pages for the first lesson. You can see I'm on unit 10, lesson one. And there are four textbook pages for each lesson. The textbook pages guide you slowly through a new topic with lots of diagrams to help you understand the maths. Pupils can work through the pages. If an adult is available, they can help discuss the maths and bring the lesson to life. The first page introduces the maths, discover, and it's a good idea if you look at the bottom left to, to use single page view to look at that page. And that means you can have a go at the maths on this first page of the lesson without seeing the answers. So on the first page, children and parents can read through, discuss it, and have a go at the maths. And then once you've had a go at the questions, go back to double page view. And now you can look at the share page on the right. So once you've discussed your methods, how you went about uh, doing the work on the first page, then you can uh, discuss the worked examples on the share page and uh, think about those, uh, talk about how they might be good ways of answering the problems that you've been working on. And then after the uh, discover and share pages, the next two pages are called think together. Now on these two pages, there are some questions which generally get slowly more difficult. You can work through these questions and discuss them and they finish up with a challenge. Now, if the children have been working through all the steps leading up to this page, it should, it should be fine to have a go at the challenge. And that's the four pages in the textbook. So having worked through the textbook pages then, the next thing would be the practice book. So I'm gonna close that and I'll find the practice book unit under student resources here. If I open up unit 10 and I open up practice book B, this is where I find the practice book unit for fractions. I can open that here. And I can download it here. I've already downloaded it. So I'm just gonna go to my window here, my, my tab. And there I've opened the practice book already, practice book unit. Now, if you've got the practice book at home already, that of course you can use that. If you don't have the practice book, then you might want to download it and print it so that children can write into the pages. You don't have to do that. You could just decide to look at the pages on screen and do the work in a separate exercise book. 
anyway, there are three pages in the practice book for each lesson. You can see at the top, it says the unit and the lesson. So you can make sure that you're matching up with the textbook pages you've been looking at. Children can work on these practice book pages independently. Again, the work gets slowly more difficult building up to a challenge. On, on, in this case, it's on the second page and the reflect activity is on the third page. And the reflect activity is where children can show their understanding in their own way. After that, after those three pages, the practice book carries on to the next lesson. So the next day you could go back to lesson two in the textbook and having done those four pages, move into lesson two here in the practice book. So I'm going to go back to where I opened the practice book and close that. You might have noticed there was also this School Jam Maths Help video. And these videos are only there for year one and two. You can open them here. And this one is to help parents understand how children are taught fractions in year two. You can play it down. So you can you can watch that later. And what I've shown you is the year two area, but it will look much the same for the other year groups. If your child is in another year group, you might want to note down the textbook pages here that match up with the pupil book or the practice book pages that you can access. So for instance, if your child is in year six, then the practice book unit is available for ratio and proportion. And you can find that starts on page 206 of the textbook. Although of course, you can just look at the contents page of the textbook to check that information too. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy using Power Maths.